all right so in this video you know we are going to create one more functionality to our import user which is you know edit the users which are not valid okay so let's quickly go to php storm and okay we'll just delete this and yeah what all do we need i need only for now i'll need this so i'll delete others we'll create a new route and this is going to be a get route edit users and we'll again pass the uid ui uuid sorry and we'll copy this okay so we'll name our function as edit wrong users live okay uh, so get our controller and in this we are going to need the uid okay and let's see what do we need to do um first things first we need the data from the table right so dollar data equals temp table and where the uuid is going to be the uid we take the first thing and now again some basic hygiene check so if we don't get data then we will do this or else and then the auth so we'll copy both in here and then what we can do is use the same thing data equals we'll overwrite the data and just simply send that back so response um, dollar data 200 status code all right so the php part is almost done what we need to add in our code is view table component so while we do that let's look at the component uh, yeah so a component by spatty where what we can do is we can use this table component we can send the data and show define the columns and it will give me a nice little table with things like sort search okay things like this so it's pretty handy i would say um so yeah, let's see how the implementation goes we have the component right okay so inside here first thing which we need to do is create the component right so Uh, why don't we name our, name our our component as edit users dot view okay script the more i write these i'm feeling i should create a template out of it anyways i'll need to do that soon edit users and now in here um i'll need this in here as well so this from edit users view so that's done we have registered our component and where do we add this inside our blade so import user blade yeah um error row id okay if this is present what we need to do is we have to continue to keep this okay so dev i'll create another one dev margin bottom 10 
we'll create two we'll add that one and one more where we will do edit users and uh, UUID is going to be this one right okay so we need a UID as props so let's start creating our component file uh, props UUID then we need some components okay that's an object table component which is going to be I didn't import them Uh, import table component comma table column from view table component okay and so this is going to be table component and table this is going to be table column so components are added then inside data we have the table data sorry okay and then um, add methods in this um, we'll have load table data okay. and in this my URL will be edit have a URL in the config so edit error user data plus we will have the UUID so we need to create this config.js okay and in this let's have this api.php um, and here I'll have this okay and then so this is our URL undefined variable UUID UUID uh, why is it showing some errors uh, okay I don't know I think it is not able to detect the view code so we can ignore for now and see if the, there is really an error so then catch okay if there is an error we'll just console.log error error.response and if we have a response then what we will do is this dot table data is equal to response dot data okay um, load table data is okay and uh, yeah that's about it in terms of the you know the script and now quickly what we will do is let's have a div margin no the first thing which we are going to do is have a button yeah so margin bottom 10 and this have a button btn btn primary and if I edit 
live edit users okay and on v on click we'll call this function okay so that's as far as the button goes and then we'll have one more div with margin bottom and in this we will use our view component we'll say that if the table is present v if table data okay uh, table com component uh, dollar data equals table data okay. sort by will be name sort order will be ascending and table column show oops show equals name label equals name okay that's part of the documentation so if you see what we need to do is we will say uh, where is the github code yeah so first name and this is the value then we have birthday and this is the value right so in here we say show first name label will be first name with the f capital so that's how we will display our data as well so this is first name we have email as email and message which is error message yeah that's about it let's see how things are going so in here we hit refresh pretty much here and then we import the users i hit upload live edit hmm. editor is not defined oh we didn't import the variable we just used it as it is so import this from two steps is it okay um yeah i know there's an error yeah so this is cleared up hit refresh this time sh will this work i hope so okay and yeah so we are able to see the table i'll need to work on the formatting a bit but if you see the rest of the functionalities do work so i can sort by name by message i can do exists and it will only show me the error with the email exists and if i do invalid email it is searching only the one which has invalid email now my idea is to basically you know have the user you know give the user functionality to edit the here and here by clicking on edit get the pop-up save and you know that user will be um, saved uh, in the database and it should get removed from here that being the idea yeah so that's something which you are going to do in the subsequent videos but yeah for now this is our live edit users so far so we have done an ajax based import valid users and we have the live edit user as well so yeah thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel